What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Savage Lands where we will hang out for yet another day and continue to try and keep ourselves from freezing to death and also starving to death in the middle of the Arctic Viking Tundra Dragon. I don't even know what else is out here. I mean, honestly, there's zombies, there's all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, I see a big old herd of deer over here. This needs to be handled right now. This needs to be handled like a beer stein. Let's see here. See, it's funny because the beer stein, it has a handle. And then also, if you handle a beer, you drink it. So then it's also like beer and handles humor. Haha! -ha. Scored another niche. All right, so let's go over here. I'm gonna try and sneak through these bushes loudly. I'll take this weak one in the back. No! Swing faster! What are you doing? I was clicking. I don't know. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't swing very fast. Like after he connects, it seems like there's a little delay or something that causes you to fail to hit. I'm gonna try and head them off around the back side of this rock. Because if they get around to the other side, then they're going to go out in the ocean, and then we can't catch them ever again. They're going to be taken once again by Neptune, unfortunately. Alright, so if we go around this way, I should be able to stop them. I don't know if they're... They might get there before I do. That's a big-ass piece of driftwood. That thing is enormous. That's an impressive piece of driftwood, no lie. I don't think I've ever seen one that big. So i got to head them off on the front right here. Although we got to be quiet about it. we got to be quiet about it. I don't know who we're on right now. But... Ah, Viking destruction! Die! Yeah, destruction! No, don't go that way. Go that way. Yes, so I can chase you longer. Here, I'm going to eat your wife or, I don't know, whoever this is. It looks like they're both does. So anyways. You're not going to make it to the ocean. Stop trying. They're like, but Neptune! You said you would save me! I call upon the powers. That's what they should do, is deer should get magical laser powers in this game eventually. From Neptune. Let's see here. I'm going to take him. Yeah, give me your stuff. And by your stuff, I mean your actual flesh, bones, and constituent parts. It's okay, though. So what you might notice about our inventory is that I killed a lot of deer in between here and the next episode. And I am inclined to think that all the best stuff in this game is inland. So we may want to consider going inland for a little while. But before we do that, we want to make ourselves way, way better backpacks so that we can bring stuff along with us so that we don't, like, die horribly because we have storage issues. So anyways, we can make wolf. I killed a lot of wolves, too. I don't know if you saw that, but I killed, like, 100 wolves on my way back. I got attacked by, like, a crowd. An army. It was a warmy. It was a lot, a lot of wolves. Like, seriously, there were teeth everywhere. There was fur and there was glowing eyes. And I was like, oh, this is so epic. If only my camera was turned on. No, it was actually really lame. I one-shot at all of them with our super awesome mace. I'm not even joking you right now. Like, they ran up and I just kind of, like, lightly bopped them upon the head, like, bippity-boppity-boo style. And then they just, like, fell over, and that was that. And I was like, oh, well, that was disappointing. Anyways, I'm going to make a fur-lined backpack. So I'm going to make two strong sinews. There they are. Fur-lined backpack. Are you good? Oh, the fur-lined backpack is amazing. I would make another one if we had the space for it. Damn, that would be awesome. Ooh. Okay, so I know we need to hunt a lot more wolves now. We need to hunt enough wolves to where we got a lot of backpacks ready to go. This bottom backpack is going to be for our food. And so let's cook up dinner first. We got... I'd like to bring enough supplies along with me to where I don't have to be concerned about freezing to death or anything. Because it has happened already. I died in between episodes like running around like looking for deer and stuff. And so I'd prefer for that never to happen again because it makes me sad. I will keep the flesh. I will keep the wolf pelts. The bones and stuff, I don't really think I need them right now. So I'm going to throw them on the ground along with the rest of our refuse. Does this area look lived in yet? This is starting to look remarkably like my living room. Anyways, let's go inland. Last time I went inland, I got myself into trouble and I got lost. Like, I seriously, I got really lost and it took me forever to find my way back home. I cut it all out because I, it wasn't something interesting that I think anybody wanted to see. But there was lots of swearing. There was some small amount of cursing. Some vague threats uttered towards the celestial deities in the sky. And then eventually I died, and from that I got a pretty good idea where I was actually at. And so from there I found my way home. It wasn't too bad, but for right now, while we've got sunlight, I feel like we should explore. We should do a little bit of adventuring. I'm probably going to use landmarks before we go in, so I'm going to try and make it back to the city. We'll pick up everything over there. Things do respawn in the city as far as I know, because the game is meant to be played in multiplayer. As of right now, there is no multiplayer to be played because there's no servers, but once it comes out on Steam, my guess is that people are going to be able to host their own. And the game is going to be kind of like Rust, just with like Vikings and stuff. Now, I wish they wouldn't go in that direction. I think there needs to be a lot more single-player survival games. I think too many people are trying to do Rust-related games where it's just like, oh, look, somebody destroyed my stuff while I was logged out. Cool. I guess I'll rebuild the thing that I already spent an entire day rebuilding. Hooray! You know, like... That's just my opinion about it. Like, I'm not a big... I'm not a huge fan of games. Like, I do enjoy them when I'm in the mood for them. But, like, those PvP deathmatch arena survival games, I don't know. They don't do a whole lot for me. Oh, look, we can make another 
I think we should be able to make another one of the crappy, I don't know, the flesh backpacks. It's actually not that bad. It's got eight slots compared to the ten. The flesh wrapped bag, yeah, we need six sinews though, but that's not actually that bad considering how much stuff we have. So there it is. Now our storage issues should be, yeah, we don't have like any storage issues at all at this point. We'd actually be able to carry around like our entire base camp with us if we wanted to. Luckily, I just don't want to, so you can't make me video game. Ooh, frost berries. Mmm. I like berries that I picked up off the ground. Cloth shreds and a worn... Metal axe. Yeah, I can take that. I can definitely take that. It looks like we're really, really excited right now in our armor. It looks like our Wang is just doing some kind of like happy dance. Like, hooray! It's another day and I'm away. He's just like super stoked to wake up every single day. That's cool. I'd rather have our loincloth popping out like that than not popping out at all ever. I'd be like, mmm. This adventure took a turn. I think I'm going to retire back to my lean to. I I need to vast I need to rethink where the nearest Viking pharmacy is. So that we can fix this. I need to see a doctor right now. I can't focus on the task at hand at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, I think stuff respawns here, maybe. Yeah, so there's another boar tusk right there. Pretty sure it does anyways. I'm just going to pick up everything along the way because we have the capability to be a pack rat like that right now. And so, hey, do what you got to do. There's nothing inside that house. So no. With the apple. With hiccup. No. There we go. That's like the base point for like the accent that whatever it is that Gerard Butler's doing. And how to train your dragons go no and then once you lock that in it's not so bad from there on in you're like you got to have trigger words so like when you're doing accents i don't know if this is like a real thing that voice actors do because i'm not one but when i'm doing accents i have words that are like callback words so if i feel like i'm falling off the bus i start to work that word back in to like regain my my grip on whatever the accent is because it's easy to fall in between them it's very very easy what do we have over here human bones and flint sure I'll take all of it. Throw it all in my pack pack. I wish things stacked a little bit higher, too. Like rocks. For, what are these? Worn leather boots? Yeah, sure. Frost berries over here? Yeah, I love food. Frost berries also give you warmth back, so I assume that they might be carcinogenic or, in some respect, fermented. Either or. They might be giving me cancer, but damn, do they make me feel warm. And actually, it's not you feeling when you drink liquor and you get that warm feeling around your face. That's not actually, like, you feeling warm. Ooh, some trees nuts? Sure. Also, what are those? Studded leather wraps? Ugh. <laughs> How would you even begin to make, like, a rap about leather hand wraps anyways? It'd have to be something along the lines of just, like, I wrap my hands and my knuckles all up in this hide so when my enemies ride and jive, they don't stay alive. I got nothing to live for and nothing to do. So when I swing these things, best believe they go through you, punk. Yeah, that worked. I think that worked for me. I'm pretty happy with it, although, honestly, I think the hand wrap is going to be a little bit more difficult because then it would just specifically have to be about your monoses. And so I'm not really, I don't know where I could take that. So we're just going to go inland for right now. That's all that I really care about is I actually want to see what's further in this way. I'm going to try and keep this as sort of like a positional. It You can see this from a long ways out. And so I'm hoping that as time goes along, we'll continue to keep those basically within eye shot. I'm looking for, oh my god, there's something missing from my desk right now. And it upsets me that it's missing because I like need it right this second. I keep like little notes and like little tabs all over my desk so that like... I just know where certain things happen in the series so that I can like sync audio and do various other things. And unfortunately, I tore up my desk earlier this week looking for a highlighter, I think is what I was looking for, and I just couldn't find one. And so unfortunately, my desk is just in tatters right now, and oh my god, you can probably hear it going on in the background right now, but you'll forgive me for a moment as I scribble for just a second, for just a second, on some random stuff. So. There we go. It's just, I, I take light notes, like, along the way. I use them to, like, make sure that I know what jokes I've told. Like, if I think of, so, for example, people have asked me if I ad-lib everything, and I'm like, yeah, for the most part, I ad-lib pretty much 100% of everything on my channel. But every now and again, I think of funny stuff to say, like, when I'm watching, like, a TV show or something. And so I'll, it'll, like, stimulate. It's weird. Like, you watch other comedians, you watch TV shows, and they'll say something. And then from there, you'll start doing wordplay off of what they said, and it gives you, like, a good starting point to, like, create something whole new like wholly new and like fresh that is your own and so just like things that you know happen and right now I just had like a brain I I definitely I had a brain thrust I'm not gonna say that it was a brain fart but it was definitely some kind of movement that dragon makes me feel really really nervous I don't think I want to get any Dovahkiin action going on right now you ever just like I saw one that made the Fusro Da come out of your ass it was a fart mod it was the funniest thing that I've ever seen like, Fusro dying out of your ass is... I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. A lot of people are like, farts are not funny. I noticed that a lot of people are like, farts are not funny. And I look at those people with pure just disbelief. Because to me, in my world, farts are among, like, one of the funniest things that can ever happen. And I'm working on why that's funny. 
So a number of people have theorized why farts are funny, because like, on the face of it, farts should not be funny, it's just like a noise that comes from your ass. And I guess while that's like the front end of it, that's the tip of the iceberg right there that gets you to crack a smile, it doesn't do much for me, just like the fart in the ass. Like, you've got to start thinking about it just in terms of, we know that like, farts have been funny for like thousands of years. Like, we have like, epitaphs, and we have like, hieroglyphics and things like that. Ancient, I know the epitaph, it's on somebody's grave. Their grave was about farting. But anyways, we know that like, going back in history, people used to like hire guys called flatists where their job was to come to your far like party and they could fart and they would fart songs and things like that and they would like they were professional farters that knew how to fart just like bamps and so anyways on the subject of that we know that consistently throughout history it's been funny to like the majority of people find it to be hilarious if not only as a signal of disdain towards like the upper classes or whatever else but also as kind of just like this joke that is con it's the ever giving joke it's like the great tree of beer that never stops giving I don't know if we're going to run into anything here. I had thought for a moment that maybe there would be something awesome inland, and I think I may have acted in folly. I was hoping that this episode would be filled with us finding all kinds of goodies, like, way, way far inland. But as of... Oh, there's a wolf, right? What is that? Is that a wolf? What is that? Oh, it's a wolf. Hey, what's up, buddy? Bippity-boppity-boo. Hey. Oh, it's one of the... That's why. It's because it's one of the black ones. The black wolves are actually a lot stronger than the normal, like, frost white wolves. The white ones are kind of like the lower-leveled ones. You smack them, like, once and they fall over. And then the darker ones, the black wolves, they are kind of like, I guess, the upgraded leveled-up versions. Maybe they're like the dire version or something like that, but they take a lot more hits. And right, to you, what you were seeing right there was a fundamental juncture, a perpendicularity, if you will, between my understanding and the game's mechanics coming to just like a head... So there it is. But anyways, I thought about it for a while, just sort of like as one of those things I may do a video log on it someday, like why are farts funny? But what I've started is that it's the juxtaposition between seriousness and silence. Oh, there's actually, okay, so the wolves are getting tougher. I've never seen a pack of just the black ones before. Typically there's like a couple of white ones interspersed too. Now I don't know if this is like just like randomness that's occurring right now, but it's keeping us fed, so I don't mind. Anything that keeps us nice and stocked on delicious vittles is something that I will whittle on very, very violently. Our hammer's looking pretty good right now. Our axe is looking pretty good. What we don't want to do is get caught way the hell up out here. It looks like we're basically walking uphill towards a mountain. And I don't really know what else to say towards it. Since we're on a high ground right now, though, I would really, really highly recommend, going along with the pun, that perhaps we just... Oh, it looks like the ocean circles around. Oh, I wasn't aware that that's how it works. Huh. I was aware that it didn't work at all, that its, that its unemployment was solidified and had become like a permanent thing that just existed. However, some wolves down here. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves down here. Oh, shit. No. Eh. Bippity. Boppity. All of the bippity boppities. And also a couple of boops up in there. I'm bleeding. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Okay, so since I'm bleeding and like bad things are... Is that wolf like attached to me right now? Here, unhitch yourself. Unhitch yourself, dear sir. I can assure you that this train is going nowhere special. We got a band-aid right here. Apply the band-aid. Did that fix us? It fixed us. Hooray! We have been fixed. Although not in that sense that makes grown men cringe. I, mm, I don't know if I could sign up for that one. I'm not sure if I could sign up for that one. That's a ride that I don't think I'll ever take. I'll reserve that one for the dog and the cat, but not for myself. Eh. Wake up fixed one day and I'm like, hmm... I don't know how I feel about this right now. On one hand, on the other, see I can't like go any further with this diatribe without it getting really, really filthy. And so unfortunately I'm left like in this weird vortex of unfunniness where I can't finish the punchline without like scaring off half of my audience because I know like my family friendly or PG-13 nature is one of the reasons a lot of people watch my channel is because you can get like kinda edgy humor, but not like super edgy humor. I think we should probably, our wolf hunt right now, the great wolf hunt has gone reasonably well, however, Unless we can find some stones out here somewhere. How many stones am I carrying around? I need at least a couple for a hammer. Let's see. Stones? We've got two. How many does a hammer take? Takes three. So unfortunately, we're like out here and I don't have the bare bone. What I was going to say is that we might be able to make another fire. Maybe up on the mountain. Something that we could see from a long ways away so that we don't have to break off these expeditions before we get too cold. I will mention just in passing that I do have frost berries and in fact a considerable amount of them and I think frost berries will raise your cold I think oh no they just give you health so I guess what I'll do for right now is I'll fill up I know that our random wolf meat and stuff will eventually they'll give us a little bit of our cold back 
a little bit of our warmth, I guess. I'm going to try and get rid of this deer so that I can make use of its body in whatever way I see fit because I'm just a psychopath like that. And then we'll continue going this way, maybe? I mean, our cold is looking okay right now. We're about halfway down, so I don't necessarily want to break off the expedition to go back if I don't have to. We're pretty far inland, but we need to find either a source of stones or we need to find a source of something before we go any further because, honestly, as it stands right now, we're in a little bit of a stranded deep situation where we don't have the basic things we need to make another campfire if things get desperate so that we can get our health back. I think we can continue to trudge inland, but... I know there are nastier mobs. I've seen them in the screenshots where there are, like, skeletons with armor and stuff. I just personally have not seen them yet. Ah, uh, we missed that second swipe right there. That was all my fault. It's kind of like a timing to it when you run up on them. you got to get them just right. A little bit more to be taken right here. Our mace is looking a tad worse for wear. There's some wolves over there off and to the left. I can't promise that it's going to be something useful that we glean from them, but we could make a couple more wolfskin sacks that'll be super useful in the future. We haven't done any construction yet, but I'm going to break that off. I think that I'll probably do like five or six episodes of this today. I'd like to get ten episodes of the series, I think. But what I'm sort of leaning towards is that we'll have like this initial exploratory period, after which we'll break off the exploratory period, and once we get done with that, God, this mace is just a home wrecker right here, isn't it? This mace is the sexiness. We've also got ourselves some gloves and some boots, making sure that we don't get bit by any of these nasty little wolves over here. Yeah. I'll probably make a construction episode, but I, what I wanted to do is essentially I wanted to make enough episodes to where we can run into the weekend with the episodes that I've recorded right now. And then once we're through the weekend, I'll spend all weekend farming out materials and stuff like that so that we can sit down and do just like one, two more episodes where we build stuff. And then after that, we break it off because obviously it's at that point we'll be running out of content. And so that freaked me out right there. I thought that was going to be a house or something, and unfortunately it wasn't. I think for the most part, the game is not populated right now. So we may want to head back inland and maybe just travel the beaches in one direction and see kind of like what we find. I don't know. Let me run back. I'm going to run back to our base camp for right now. And we'll bring this stuff back with us. I don't see anything out here that's looking super interesting. And so I think I'll probably stop the excursion before we're so far out in the middle of nowhere to where we'll never find our way back home. Yeah, I think that might be the wisest idea. Maybe next time I'll bring a hammer with me so that we can hammer out some rocks if we need to. And then we could just make like another random base camp way the hell out here if we need to. But for right now, if you take a look at the base of all these rocks, I'm not seeing anything that's going to be useful to us. And I think it's because they haven't set up the spawns just yet. This is where it gets dangerous right here where you get to the other end of the mountain and it breaks off. Yeah, I think that's what they've done. I think they've made it so you're actually sort of on an island maybe. I don't think it's randomly generating any more of the terrain, but I definitely feel as though we're kind of like out here. We haven't seen any structures or anything else, so I suppose this wasn't a total complete and waste of an episode. We've got enough stuff on hand right now to where we should be able to get some things... Well, I mean, our meters are not tentative at the moment, which is always the thing that I'm a little bit worried about. So if you've got like the cooked wolf meat, you can just eat that while you run along, and it'll help out your stomach and your heat. You see how it gets all three bars? And so we should be able to keep ourselves from dying pretty spectacularly just from nibbling on this stuff from time to time. But yeah, I don't know if I want to cut this out or not. I know some people are like super ardent about no cuts and they want it to just be like a long play. And then other people are super ardent about the fact that they only want like the interesting stuff. And I've actually gotten into not debates or like arguments, I guess, because I don't want it to be like that. But I've gotten into discussions with other LPers about the fact of like, do you edit? Do you not edit? You know, and some people get very, very sort of passionate about it where they're like, yeah, absolutely. There's no reason for you to drag an audience along with all the boring stuff right now when you're just like wandering around and accomplishing nothing. On the other hand, there's a big group of people that are like, all right, but what if something happens right out here that's super interesting, you know? And your camera's ready to go, but then like you're trying to segue and figure out and explain where you went and like the audience isn't really as sure of where you are on the map or like what's going on. It becomes kind of like a very weird situation. It becomes difficult to you know, decide where the line is drawn. Very, very interesting conversation to be had, and one of those things that I've always... I want to be part of, like, a roundtable podcast. I need to find, like, another associated group of LPers that want to hang out, like, once a week. But as of right now, my schedule is just so, like... My schedule is super, super janky right now. And so, unfortunately, I can't, like, dedicate to it. I'm the kind of person that, until I can't dedicate to it, I don't want to put it on the books because I don't want to be that guy who's always, like, calling it and be like, yeah, I can't make it today. Like, I'd prefer to just not put it on the books at all. I think I hear the sound of one of our loverly little dragon friends up in the sky right now. I don't know if I've been turned around or not. 
At this point, I'm a little bit disoriented. We'll probably hit beach around here somewhere, I hope. If not, then we've got plenty of food to sustain us for a while, so I'm not going to concern myself about it. I've got more than enough food to find my way to water, I think. Anyways, I'll probably break the episode off right here. That's going to be the safe spot that I am going to elect to go after. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Savage Lands. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. As always, take care out there, everybody. Hi, do, and I will see you in the next episode.